obviously we grew up in a part of the world where bass fishing, conventional bass fishing is huge. And it always kind of baffled me, like stigmas, I guess, just thinking that you only fly fish for trout. And I feel like a lot of people look at, oh, that's a smallmouth stream just driving over on the interstate going through a farmer's field. And they're like, yeah, that's terrible. But when you actually get on the water, you get out there, you start experiencing, you're like, this is one of the most beautiful streams I've ever been in my life. We are in Huntsville, Alabama. We're down here chasing a bunch of smallmouth. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna ramble and I'm just gonna let you edit this all together. Oh, that's good. Hell yeah. There's nothing more addicting to me than setting the hook and think I've hooked into a f***ing tree. <laughs> and the next thing I know, that tree takes off downriver. No way! Let's go! We uh, are in Huntsville, Alabama, linking up with the, the boys this week. We got Adam, Steve, and our boy Jared that you guys know from last year. And so we're, uh, we're gonna be doing some smallmouth fishing. Brian's gonna join us for a few days. Didn't and, get to uh, last time. Didn't get to last time. He's down in Texas, but he's back. He's back. But tonight we just hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys so so much. Getting to 50, it's a, it's a huge accomplishment, and uh, on our way to we're on our way to 100. So we got a drink tonight to celebrate, hang out with the boys, and we're getting after this week. We got a full week of smallmouth fishing. I'm gonna check out some new rivers and uh, some of our favorites. We're bringing the breakfast to the boys and that's really our only job. That's our job. We have to be at Steve's house, at Hobo Steve's house at 6.30 mm -hmm. with breakfast in hand and I think we can handle that. There yeah, what up, what up, bro? How you doing? Good to see you, bro. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Is there meat on it? No, I don't think so. Where? I guess this is your sandwich now. Dude, there's no bacon on there. <laughs> there's nothing on there. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. That is a egg and cheese bagel. You got done dirty. <laughs> I don't want it in my trash can. <laughs> we going to Bojangles now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go get real practice. <laughs> People were worried about you, man, in the last video. I was worried about myself, dude. 10, 12 hour days, six days a week, so. It's nice, uh, it's kind of sad that I have to actually schedule PTO to get time off to go fish this year, but it's kind of what we have to do, so we're looking forward to it. Do you remember how to fish? No, I don't. You're gonna have to teach me. That sounds right. Stay <laughs> right back, go that way. Go hard. When you're a fly dealer, you just literally cannot afford this many fly boxes. So uh, we have our big fly box, the large gallon Ziploc, that we then put our product <laughs> baggies in of all of our different flies. We're down here chasing a bunch of smallmouth. Uh, we have a lot of R&D patterns that we needed to fish this week, so we're planning to do that. Y'all know this one from Canada, the Mima. That thing has been just absolutely wrecking smallmouth. We got our buddy Jared. He's uh, You saw him in the, one of the films last year. He's going to be helping us out. We got the whole crew today, the whole short bus crew, except it's the short boat crew. I don't know. <laughs> we don't have a bus. <laughs> Get that money shot. We got us a little red beer action. You know, don't like to start off anything without some red beers. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go, boys. Let's get it. Cheers. That's what I'm doing now. I'm trying something further ahead. Maybe like chasing a bait fish kind of deal. Yeah. Don't be shy, but yeah. A little stripe to him. Tell him you love him. 
I love you. We'll whisper it though. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 you just gotta, really you just gotta got, like really sweet talk him. You. Fish, gar, big, oh, big, big gar. gar. <laughs> I need a beer. We're shotgunning a beer off this gar's mouth. Finally. That's a monster. Jared, I was enjoying hey, Jared, my. I was enjoying my day. Get in, so. get in the water. You're just gonna tarp and hold this gar. Yeah. You, there's nothing we can do. So I'm just gonna put you in the water right over here. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, just, oh. I must have got a hook in him. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Good you want me to try to net him? We need two nets. <laughs> we need two nets. We need a musky net. Get in the water. Are you scared of him? Yeah. Yeah, I remember what you said about him last year. All right, if I get in the water with him, I'm claiming it's mine for the video. Look at this. He's gone. He broke the fly, too. Why did you do that? I've been waiting on you to net him for three minutes. You got a point. You were, how many times did I ask you to jump in the water? <laughs> I said, hey, Jared, get in the water. Hey, Jared, get in the water. Hey, Jared, get he in the water. The fly. Hey, got the fly. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> For the vid. Oh, shit. <laughs> Coming in hot, son. Hey, did I hit you, Adam? No. You're welcome. Then we're good. As you will see from the video, video footage, uh, our net is yay big and old Gar was yay big. So um, I don't know if you ever try to put the square block in a circle hole, but it doesn't fit. And that's exactly what we found out right now. There we go. Fish. Yes. Yes. Came around this corner, just got a pretty decent fish out of it. We were kind of staying in the slower water to the left, casting towards the bank where that fast water is. And uh, it actually looks like even over the past week, they started pushing up into some different water and more of like a summer holding water. Oh, nice. Whitey. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Little rock bass. There you go. Oh no, it's just Molly. Let's go. Oh, How's it going? Good, how about you? Pretty good. Have you ever seen Indiana Jones? I have. Where like the stone is rolling yeah. behind Indiana Jones. That's what I just felt like. We were Out west, really... the, uh, the hatches are quite prolific. Um, we actually plan our trips around a lot of them last year. And uh, I think the big one was the salmon fly hatch. I know you guys love that video. Well, here in the Southeast, uh, we have a different kind of hatch. It's called a plastic hatch. And as much as I love people getting out and enjoying the rivers, it kind of makes fishing a little bit of a hassle when you have about 300 plastic kayaks just chilling on the river <laughs> the entire day that never stops. <laughs> Come on, everybody. You. Hey, yeah. But for real. Call time out here. <laughs> All right. Back here. So, fish has been hit or miss today. Um, one thing we've noticed is with this colder weather, like, I mean, what is this? Almost into May, and it's, I don't even think it's 80 today. And mm -hmm. Colder weather. Yeah, colder, sorry, colder weather. <laughs> sorry, I know someone's going to flame me on the internet. Alabama turns. One. So, it's kind of throwing our fishing off. We're trying to figure it out as we're going throughout the day. Um, a little side thing is that uh, we pull out the gummy worms. Um, always got to have gummy worms on you guys. You guys saw them earlier. These things are delicious. You put them in the cooler throughout the day, get a little cold. 
they just make that afternoon bite just that much better. Is that what you learned from being a hobo? Pretty much. <laughs> You were there with Is me. Is that spending your money on booze? Is <laughs> just you spend it on trolley gummy worms? Pretty much, yeah. It's your bamboo rod with a sink tip, which, you know, bamboo rod maybe shouldn't be fishing a sink tip. Let's just be real here. I'm not saying it should or it shouldn't, all right? I'm just saying if I told the, someone that was more than 50 years old that I was fishing a bamboo rod with a sink tip line, they might have a heart attack. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I'm so mad I just missed that smallmouth. Yeah, that one smacked it though. That might have been a decent one. Couldn't tell though. Yeah. Large. Oh, there you go. There you go. There we go, baby. I'll bring it back over to the right. Good fish. I guess left. He wants to swim up here. Oh yeah. Maybe you're a yang and a horse. There we go, baby. Let's go, dude. I like it. Shoo! Let's go. There he is, folks. Look at that guy. This is a good fish for me because. I have been skunked for weeks and uh, feels good to get a good one on the line. That's a fish. That's a decent fish, too. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, take. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woo! What did I say? You're right in that little pocket. I, said, I love it when they're right here. Woo! Let's go, baby! Yeah! What's up, dude? Yeah. Yep! Largie? Oh, yeah, big one. Yeah. That'll work? Oh, yeah. Good fish. See you. There he is, baby. Let's go. Yeah. We're rolling up on one of Adam's favorite holes. It's, uh, he's infamous for, for missing a good good big smolly here. So we'll see what see what we can't get into here. Got him. Didn't even get the camera on in time. Come on, line here. Oh, yeah. oh, there we go. Hold up. There we go. Jared's hooked. We're doubled up, baby. <laughs> let's, let's go. Damn, dude. Awesome. The last one was bigger. Yeah. That one's good. He's a chunk. Oh, my God, dude. They put the whooping on you when they get in that fast water. Yeah, water. it was over. He's like, oh, where's my buddy go? Hold up. <laughs> I just, like, for the 20 seconds straight. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's good. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so classic. We just spent way too much time at each hole, and so we're getting off the river really, really late. Uh, the other boys got in the other boat because they have a really, really fast motor. So they're going down to the takeout um, to go get the cars and shuttle. They left Steve and I with the little trolling motor, and Adam, wow, says, Adam says we have an hour until we get to the boat ramp, and it's pretty much almost dark at this point. So this is about to get real interesting. 8.07, I'd say about 45 minutes to get the take out, maybe 50 minutes with this trolling motor. So it'll be about nine o'clock. So we'll definitely get some moon structure out. It's gonna get cold for Scotty and I because um, 
while we have quick dry clothes on, we have been in the water lately, and it only <laughs> dries quickly if the sun's out. So it's about to get very cold very quick for Scotty and I. So we just added 4.9 miles to our float. A little bit more and then I can get on the front and get it over. Back. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. So we're really hoping that as we get a little further down, we start running into some of those bigger fish. Get out there, Adam. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, 